Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, so, I know I'm kind of late to the party, but this is uh, the new Pokemon that's been uh, that's been uh, been released again. Another one. Um, so this is gonna be a thing. I can already tell until the game comes out um, in a couple weeks. Uh, so I think they're just gonna surprise. I don't. I don't know if this is a surprise drop or what, because I didn't see anything. I don't know. I'm not on Twitter like that all the time, so I, I probably it was on my timeline and I probably missed it. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and check this out. I was surprised. I got a a notification this morning, and. Um, And I, uh, I was I was shocked. I was like, "What is this? I, I didn't I didn't get anything about." So I guess they're just gonna surprise drop these trailers for the rest of the for the rest of the couple weeks. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, where are these mysterious coins coming from? What coins are they talking about? Ah. Okay. Why did they put so much more effort into their promotional stuff than they do for the actual game? Like, they, the games have been getting progressively more creative in some sense, but, like, the promotion stuff is always above and beyond. I don't understand that. They need to put some, they need to put what they put into the promotional stuff into the game. I don't know. I don't get it. Is that Monica Real? It's not like Monica Real. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna keep bringing this up. This, this voice acting and the promotional stuff—it's not gonna be in the game.
obviously. And simple. Bonus point. Now, who was Professor John? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? I don't remember him in the trailer. Thank you. It's only 23. Oh, November 18th, all right, yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, oops, way down there, you can't see me. Um, What do I think? It's it's fine, I guess. It's it's uh it, it's cute. You can make merchandise off of it. I mean, I guess technically all the Pokemon you can make you can make merchandise for, but um. Like I feel like this is very, very merchandise heavy in terms of its creation. Um, it's a very basic design with a with a simple premise, I guess. That's all. I, that's how I can, if I can call it that. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, Since I'm here, there's a, there was another video. Um, that popped up. So you've been ambushed by gimme gimme ghouls. Let me just see what they say about this. Little like them a lot, okay. That it? Terra type. Uh, okay. I thought I was expecting a little bit more. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to check that out real quick. It was real short. Um, there's two things I noticed. Well, there's there's, there's one thing I noticed, and then there's a uh, prediction. So I predict. It seems very obvious. Payday is going to be one of its moves. It's one. Of, it's, it's going to be one of the moves they can learn, or at least it'll learn naturally, um, because of the coins and everything. I would. I would assume so. Um, it'd also be cool, I guess, if um, 
if it gave you like boosted experience, I mean, it wouldn't, it, it doesn't really make sense because it's like a money thing, but I guess money equals experience, I guess. Well, experience equals money. So I guess that might be a thing. Uh, we can turn it, you can basically have it as like a, uh, you can fight a bunch as like a, um, like ESP grinding, I guess. Um, second thing I noticed, uh, it's ears. They look like the dowsing machine. So it may have a uh, pickup as one of its abilities because it looks like it's, it's based off the dowsing machine, which just helps you find hidden items. So I don't know. That's, that's just, that's two things. That's a couple of things I've noticed in the, in, in this particular video, uh, overall thoughts. It's very, I don't know. It's very basic. I don't know, man. I'm I'm not feeling this, man. Like the last two out of the last three Pokemon games, I'm just not feeling. I didn't. I really wasn't feeling Brian Diamond Shining Pearl. This isn't really calling me. I guess it's not really. It's not really uh, piquing my interest. Uh, Arceus was like my thing this year, man. You don't understand. I think I put in like 500 hours in Arceus. Um, and I still haven't completed it. I still haven't caught Arceus. And I think there's a few, there's a couple more missions I have to unlock anyway, which is probably not going to happen because I haven't touched the game in, um, in a few weeks now. So, um, yeah, there was a video I did while I was, I recorded myself uh, trying to catch Arceus without fighting it, basically, just throwing the bombs at it. Um, so, yeah, check that out. You'll see how I fared. Um, but, yeah, man, I don't know. I may I may just skip this and just watch someone else's playthrough. Because I, I don't really, I don't know. I'm, for this game, I watch someone's play. I actually, for the last, for uh, Brayden Diamond, I didn't watch anyone's playthroughs because I just did not care about the game. If I really want to watch a uh, a Sino, a, a I really want to watch a Sino playthrough. I'll just watch one play uh, uh, Diamond Pearl or Platinum, something like that. You know what I mean? There's no re. There's really no reason to watch someone play the remake because they don't look all that great anyway. But uh, yeah, so that's that's all I have to say. Um, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.